One of nature's greatest wonders is the ability of the human ear to distinguish among the millions of sounds around us. Listen. Recognize those sounds? Surely. Each sound has a distinctive pitch, loudness, and quality. You will hear later how these characteristics are determined by the frequency, intensity, and form of sound waves in the air. Waves which your ears pick up and analyze. But first, let's investigate what causes sound. The source of every sound is a vibrating body. Take, for example, a drum. The vibrating drumhead pushes against the air every time it moves outward. It shoves the air molecules against other air molecules, compressing the air. This compression moves away as the drumhead moves inward, leaving a region where the air is slightly thinner than normal. On the next outward push of the drumhead, another region of compression is formed and started on its way outward. We call these pulses of compressions and rarefactions pressure waves. As long as the drumhead vibrates, pressure waves will be generated and sent through the air. When waves of sufficient strength reach your ears, they push on your eardrums, setting them to vibrating too. It's these vibrations which your brain interprets as sound. Despite your ears' sensitivity to minute changes in air pressure, it is only when the changes are repeated in rapid succession, at least 20 times a second, that your brain perceives them as sound. On the other hand, vibrations that occur more frequently than about 20,000 times a second cannot be heard by the average human ear. This audible frequency range varies considerably with different people and different ages. Generally, as a person grows older, the delicate membranes of the ears grow stiff then it becomes more difficult to hear the very high frequencies. Let's get acquainted with the sounds of different frequencies. Listen as we produce a series of vibrations starting at 30 cycles per second and gradually increase the frequency until it is 15,000 cycles per second. 30 cycles per second. Fifty. One hundred. Two hundred. Five hundred. One thousand cycles per second. Two thousand. Four thousand. Six thousand. Eight thousand. Ten thousand. Twelve thousand. Fifteen thousand cycles per second. Your ears are probably most sensitive to vibrations in the frequency range between about one thousand and four thousand cycles per second. Changes in atmospheric pressure about one part in ten billion, if repeated about thirty-five hundred times a second, will send an audible sound to your brain. At this minute pressure variation, the eardrum moves less than one hundred thousandths the wavelength of light, one-tenth the diameter of the smallest atom. 
If your ears were very much more sensitive, you probably would be able to hear the motion of the molecules of the air as they vibrate with thermal energy.